I know you're shocked, and I know you don't believe it, but here we are. <laughs> Channel. Today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair with Kool-Aid. I've heard that this is possible and I figured, you know, I'm kind of bored with my hair. I'm getting ready to like cut the whole thing off. Kind of like I did like not even that long ago. And look how long it is already. I don't know how short I had cut it, but it's already super long again. And I'm getting ready to cut it. And I'm like, you know what? Before I do anything too crazy, let's do something like not totally permanent, right? <laughs> so that's what I thought of doing something with food. You guys know that I have dyed my hair with food a couple times before. I have done beets. I have done coffee and now it is time for the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people do the red Kool-Aid. I think that's pretty much the only one I've ever seen. But I was like, mm, it's so unoriginal to do the red. And I was like, blue would be cool. But then I was like, no, better yet, let's do both. <laughs> Red and blue. So I'm gonna go totally Harley Quinn right now. I'm gonna dye one side red, one side blue, and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> as you guys can tell, and as you have seen in all my videos before, my hair is already pretty dark, it's like a medium brown. So I don't know how well this is gonna work. Every article and everything I see claims that it works for brown hair, so I'm just gonna go with it. If this totally destroys my hair, that's fine. I'll just chop it all off. So I found this article online from Spoon University. My fam. Love you, Spoon University. I also write articles for Spoon University, so check me out there. Okay, I'm getting too excited with these things. So I saw an article on Spoon University. I'm gonna write one now with my experience. But she said that she soaks her hair for like 20 to 30 minutes because her hair is dark. So what if we do like 45? I don't know. Let's just go for it. Long story short, without further ado, let's prepare these packets of Kool-Aid. Okay. Okay, so now we are here in the kitchen and we are going to make these packets. I don't think I've actually ever had Kool-Aid before, maybe like once or twice when I was a kid. Oh my gosh! Talk about artificial, oh my gosh. Ugh, it smells like cherry medicine. Maybe it tastes better than it smells, but ooh, boy. What about this? This one better smell good. Oh, this one's good. So I'm gonna pour them into these little bowls here. So let's start with the red. Okay, so the article said that you're supposed to boil it for like two minutes. I don't have the patience to clean that many pans. So I'm just gonna put it in the bowls and... <coughs> Jeez. So I just boiled some water in this kettle. I'm gonna pour some of it in here. I'm not sure exactly how much. Probably not too much because I want it to be not too diluted. So I think that's pretty good. And I'm just gonna mix it around, make sure it's dissolved completely and leave it here for a little bit just so that it, you know, just so it does its thing. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Now let's do the blue one. Uh, uh, it doesn't look blue. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't look to be as potent as the red one does, so. Mm. I just straight up ate some of that. I'm just kind of doubting that the blue is gonna do anything. Look how dark the red, like the red one just, I don't know, something about it just makes me think it's more potent. And this one just uh, seems kind of too light, so I don't know if that's gonna work. And if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna have one side of my head that's red and the other side that's not anything. And that's gonna look weird but we're gonna go with it. So like I said before, my hair is already pretty dark. You can see it in the light. That makes you get a little bit of what it looks like better. Just gonna do like the ends of it, like probably however much I can get. Just kind of soak it in the bowl for however long it's gonna be. I mean, like I said, the article said 20 to 30 minutes. We might have to do longer. I feel like it might be easier to handle if I put it in pigtails. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in some pigtails and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna soak my hair and see what happens. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair and part my hair in the center. Wow, looking excellent. Just want to say, please excuse my greasy hair because my hair has been hella dry lately. And somebody commented on a TikTok video and told some girl with straight hair like mine to only wash with conditioner. And I tried that and this was the result. Stringy hair. Honestly, it was worse than this. I put some dry shampoo just so that you wouldn't be shocked. And it's only been like a day, so, you know, not doing that again. That's good enough. Perfectly, imperfectly parted in the back. How's that? Bad? <laughs> I knew it. Let's go ahead and tie this now. Pigtail it up. I don't think I've done pigtails since I was like 10, so. This is gonna be a look. Oh my gosh, you have Lunchables today? So do I. Oh my gosh, you wanna go play hopscotch outside? Yeah! 
done. That's too much. Okay, guys. Now it is time for this whole situation here. I am going to... Listen, I don't even know. I got some food because I already know that this is going to take forever. And I got my phone to keep me company while I soak my hair. Check out my ruining my hair playlist for more crazy hair videos. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. Like, I guess I'm just gonna have to... I should get something to like hold these up. So I don't have to like literally be on the ground. Listen, I might have to be like this for half an hour. I can't do that. I need something to lift these up. Oh, don't drip, don't drip. Ah, it's dripping everywhere. Oh my gosh, looks like I'm bleeding. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I just want to say I touched it for one second with this hand. And look at how red my hand is. This seems not safe, but I need some sort of support here. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna get my food ready and we gonna eat. Here we go. All right, this is what we're doing now. What time is it? It's 8.05 at night and I am insane. I don't think this blue is gonna work. The red might though. We'll see. been one hour. Oh, I got Kool-Aid on my neck. What is that? Anyway, this is where we're at. Here's the blue. Not looking very blue, but okay. And the red. Not looking all that red, but we're gonna wash it out and see what happens. Now I'm gonna try to get out of here. <laughs> all right, let's wash it out. We go for the big reveal. I just want to say, yes, it is the morning and I did this last night. I showered, I washed my hair quickly because I didn't want to do too much. I stayed up all night until my hair air dried because I don't have a blow dryer right now. And then I realized that even with the like the lights that I have, it wasn't like showing very much. So I figured maybe some daylight would do a lot better than my lights. So I waited until the morning, I slept on it and now we're here. Are you guys ready? Here we go. way better with the white shirt and the daylight. But as you can see, it kind of worked. Obviously, like I said, my hair is pretty dark. So chances that it was gonna be super visible were very slim. But as you can see, it has like the slightest tint of blue on this side and a little red on this side. The red, I feel like I imagine that it would be way more visible, but I think because my hair already has so many like red undertones that it wasn't that noticeable. But the blue, you can definitely tell that there's something wrong with my hair. Like <laughs> it looks like maybe I had done some sort of color treatment and then went in the pool and chlorine messed it up. That's what it looks like. And remember the article said, wait 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes for her darker hairs. I I waited an hour and still it didn't do much. And honestly, I washed my hair. I only shampooed my hair. I did not condition it because I was like, I just need to clean my hair, but I don't need to do the most so that it all washes out, right? So here's what we got. Let me show you up close. So, oh yeah, you can see that. Here's the result. We got some bluish and some reddish. So definitely you can tell that it worked to some extent, but like I said, not so much. I'm really surprised actually that the blue worked. I did not expect the blue to work at all. Definitely different different colors there as you can see the reddish and the bluish so I guess that's it you guys I hope this video helped you out if you have lighter hair than me I would totally try it and see how that looks because it definitely would be more visible but for those of you who have hair like mine or maybe even darker now you know kind of what happens <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool I think like the red is really cool if you're kind of going for like a reddish tone to your hair you can do probably your whole head of hair or like a greenish bluish tone you just want to see what would happen if you had some bluish undertones or reddish undertones undertones or purple undertones, whatever colors of Kool-Aid there are, you could definitely try that out. I think that's a super cool thing to experiment with. But uh, yeah, you guys. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good laugh and uh, hopefully you try it too and see how it works for your hair. Let me know in the comments below if you've done this before and how it turned out if you did. And if not, let me know if you're going to do it now. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I put out a new video every week on Wednesday, so I will see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye! I look like I just woke up because I kind of did. <laughs> Ooh, this light is bright as hell, but it's fine. I can see a little bit, kind of. I don't have a blow dryer. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to wait till my hair air dries. Ugh. Soak it in the bowl for... <laughs> All right, you can't even see me. That's great. <laughs> All right, you guys, today I am bringing you these maracas here, I guess. <laughs>